All right, guys, so it's the next morning here, and right where we caught that huge raccoon, we picked up a possum. That exact set, um, yeah. So it goes to show, like, this is a probably a really good trail. Um, yeah, but it's a big possum right there, but I think I'm going to release it. Get this um cat food like I said with um melted peanut butter and um syrup on it maple syrup and it catches them that's it all right so we have traps set along this there's a cornfield and a bean field and we have a coyote set right along here and we picked up a coyote right here He's not a giant one, but he's a female. And usually you can get a lot of money off these females. They're pretty. Look at that. I don't think he has mange. No, he doesn't. Pretty coyote. And a number three Bridger. He's not getting out of that trap. That's cool. Anyways. We're going to dispatch him. Nice pack. one but he's not tiny. There he goes. Guys so we got a colony trap here and there's usually muskrats that go through this culvert and it goes out this other side here. And usually I set it on this side. They just yeah they just go in through here and so we're just gonna put a colony trap right back in there i've caught him here every single year i've trapped last year caught like 30 here or something so all you do take the trap it usually is deeper than this and that's how you want it is deeper but it's not and yeah hopefully we catch stuff though there it is it goes out into kind of like a pond rivers area here and yeah we're gonna i'm gonna go, go check out this thing tomorrow pretty much in the morning here it's actually light out i don't have to go to school till later um we are uh checking that muskrat trap that i set just yesterday um haven't checked it yet but i had a conibear sit on this trail right here and we got a rabbit right here he's still alive i have to put him out but that's gonna be some good bait to use, so I'm glad about that. But I'm kind of excited to check this, so we're gonna see. If we don't have anything, I'm gonna be surprised, but I can't tell you. Oh, yeah, there's some heads in there. Oh my, of course. Two I see so far. And they're still alive, I think, because the trap's not all the way underneath the water, so. I think I'm gonna get a stick to get him out because I don't want to get my finger bit. Oh my word. Look at that, guys. We just filled up a colony trap. Of him. He just jumped out. How did he just get out? There he goes. We had five. Whoops. Dang it. They're all alive. Holy crap. 
There he goes across the pond. First time I've ever caught five in it, but the one got away. That sucks. But it's fine. They're all decent size, too. <laughs> See, let's show you them again here. All four, there was one fifth one in there, man. You've probably seen it jump out on camera, but I gotta go set the colony trap in the water. Deep water now. So the muskrats are in deep water now, and we're gonna get this rabbit out of here. Can't believe that one muskrat got away still. <laughs> but it's, it's fine. He'll watch him come back through here tomorrow again and get caught. You never know, but. rabbits out we got some good coyote and fox bait now oh my glad about that try to get them we're done let me show you the set so anyways you just come through here flip this up and right there's the conibear bear on a trail mink possum rabbit <laughs> coon every, everything goes through there anyways I have a few more traps to check and then I'm going to show you how I reset the colony trap. Well, seen from a distance, I got something. There's a catch circle. I don't know what it is though. Oh, it's a possum. <laughs> Never mind. And it's not a very big one. If it was a big one, I would keep it. But he's not big. So I'm just going to release it. Foot's nice and fine. Not broken, nothing. We'll just put him over here. And that's a dirty possum. I'm not gonna really want to keep a dirty one today anyway. Just because of the snow, it's been melting kind of all night. My trap's all muddy. So I probably should go wash it off somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna take my DP out of the ground. And then I'm gonna wash it off and then I'll be right back. Got her washed off. Restaker now. And guys, you don't want to use just steel stakes. If you're in ground, that's like really soft. They'll, a coon will pull it out. I've had experience with that. But like this is fine right here. I've never, this, there's no way they can pull this out. Make it go down pretty far like that. Now we'll set the trap. There we go. Put her in the ground right here. Hopefully another big coon comes right down through there. Anyways, we got enough. And what I do is I just fill it up about an inch past the trigger. And then I usually I put a little bit on the ground. And then a tiny bit on top like that. Right there. All I used was fish oil. Put some that way. Probably wouldn't need this today, only because all well, the scents here already from me catching that possum. Alrighty. Next trap. Well, after that possum, we did get the muskrats drowned. They're all dead now. Like I said, we should have five. <laughs> I have proof for when that one jumped out. I think you can see it on camera, to be honest. Anyways, they're all nice muskrats. There's one. Set them in the snow. Get this one out of here. Come on. Ah. Well, what the heck he caught on? There he is. Another one. There we go. I'm going to go put this back in there. Back here at the culvert. All we're going to do. Take the colony trap. Could just use my hands, but. right back in there and uh, 
one at level if I can. There. Straight back in there like that. There we go.